All right, let's jump into uh, chapter four. See online. And what makes you an expert? Shell in archives. I studied a lot about Alwa. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Dice. Let's stick to the mission. We may have to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. I'd rather play as Cassie Cage, I think. Without Wolves or Ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance. Not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. But my employer, Kotal Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here. We have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the con, I'll tell them you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. Well, that guy's a smooth talker, I'll give him that. We are required to view every resource as a weapon for our emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? shouldn't have listened to you all right and this is what i mean about this stupid fucking story i mean why even bother trying to tack on some lame-ass story to a fighting game anyway i mean seriously i mean so these guys were sent by raiden to speak to khan and this asshole sees a peasant that's about to get his head chopped off and he decides to start this big battle over nothing. Makes no fucking sense. Uh, at any rate, let's jump into it. Uh, we're going to have to learn a whole new move set here. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. <laughs> Alright. And, and here's another thing that I have to throw out here. So after I shot him in both eyes with arrows, broke his spine, cracked the back of his skull, how the hell is this guy still fighting? You know, I mean, come on, dude. That's kind of ridiculous. A little bit stupid. 
Hold on, let's check out this guy's move set though. All right. So none of these combos really deal a lot of damage. This one does though, double strike. I'm gonna try this double strike thing. You should be embarrassed. Yes. Play with tour. You couldn't just ask for a pony like every other girl. The archives never mention symbiotes. Here we go. Yeah, I'm here to make trouble. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, and I'm still gonna say the same thing, man. I don't know how that dude's alive after I do that attack where I shoot him in the face with two arrows and essentially break his spine. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that he's uh, able to continue on fighting, but I kind of like this uh, this uh, Kung, Kung Jin. He's pretty good. I like his uh, moveset so far. Uh, hold on. Love to learn more about you. Too bad you're insane. Yeah, I tried to do the finishing move, but I couldn't do it. You guys all right? <laughs> The Earth 
Rumblers, yes? This one must learn more of your diplomatic techniques. We're here to see Kotal Khan. General Blade. You interfere with outworld matters. The penalty is death. Exactly. Exactly. These four jackoffs are like the worst fucking soldiers that you could have. These fucking idiots are sent to this world to specifically just to speak to Khan, but instead they start this freaking war for no goddamn reason. So ridiculous. But as we honor the Rapal Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will wait in here. Something tells me we're gonna have to fight Khan you now. Take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking. I gotta wonder why you'd risk interrealm war for a bread thief. Exactly. Because not all thieves are irredeemable. Fuck you, you goddamn idiot. What a moron, man. Ah, uh, here we go. We're gonna have a childhood flashback, which is gonna tell us why he was a fucking idiot that uh decided to do what he did. Let me guess, he's breaking into this house and he's gonna steal something and blah blah blah. Actually, no, that's not him. I don't know who the hell that is. That's a well-guarded area. The door is wide open and he just waltzes in and takes whatever he wants. It is more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom. One that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao. After his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn, and stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No. Ah, shit. Not far enough. Ah, shit. Really? go wasn't even trying Yeah, man, you can't. That's like the third or fourth time that I've tried to do an execution at the end, but uh, it's not letting me do the executions here in story mode. I don't know if I'm screwing them up or what, but I don't know. Blood of Kung Lao, descendant of the great Kung Lao, a common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple and walk out again without my complicity? You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger, make you amenable to reason. You make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. 
there lies ahead a brighter path. One that will truly honor your ancestors. One that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin, like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart, not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. It is never too late, Kung Jin. And so I'm going to interject here just a moment before I continue on. I'm, I know that this is going to be a longer video, but I want to complete this full chapter. I don't want to break up chapter four into two different videos. So um, it is admirable that they're trying to give this game a story. I mean, I've been playing this chapter four now for almost 20 minutes, and I've been breezing through these matches. So, you know, it's not like... I'm getting beat a lot, which is why it's taking 20 minutes. It's taking 20 minutes because of all of the cutscenes and the story that they're trying to put in the game. I myself am not a big fan of the story so far, but I'm going to give the devs credit for at least attempting to put some semblance of a story in here. Your news of refugees is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friends. Friends? No. No, we're not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she has. She employs Shinnok's amulet against me. The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care. When Outworld was offered no participation. We were under attack, not Outworld. Odal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer. Huh? can forge words like silver. But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? You're gonna fight a duel? To absolve us of all accusations. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of Outworld. No, also, the duel ends in death. Alright, here we go. Maybe I'll finally you be able to do a fucking, um, merely execution. Two more seconds of breath. Damn it. I fucked up my, um, I messed up my x-ray move. Shit. 
Shit, man. Let me see if I could do the execution here, man. Hold on a second. What's his execution? His uh, finishing move. I haven't been able to do a finishing move this entire game, but they said that this thing is supposed to end in death, so... So it's down, right, down, left, triangle. No, it wouldn't let me do it. And now, Emperor. The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Now kill me. Be done with it. You're not actually gonna... Instead of your life, I claim your service. If Melina does have the amulet, we can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor, they cannot be trusted. Vora, can you not perceive? I am indebted to them. You honor us, Kotal Khan. Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... arrangement. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. Stay with Kotal Khan. Alright, that's the end of Chapter 4, and we are about to start Chapter 5. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part. I know that this was a long video, but I wanted to get through the entirety of chapter four. And that was a long chapter, man. I mean, if there's like 12 or 14 chapters and they're all like, you know, 25 minutes long, this isn't going to be a short, uh, a short story mode like I originally had thought. So at any rate, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think of the game so far if you're playing it yourself. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much, guys.